Hello and welcome to the Aquarium. Come in and take a seat, the show is about to begin. The first Mosasaurus remains were discovered in a time before people knew about extinct animals, dinosaurs, evolution or deep geological time. It's not surprising then that the scientists of the day didn't really know what to make of it. The first fragmentary skull was discovered in a chalk mine in the Netherlands in 1764, and at first it was thought to be a fish or maybe a whale. A second skull was found sometime during the 1770s, and this time it was interpreted to belong to a crocodile. These early fossil discoveries have an interesting place in history. By 1794 the French Revolution was in full swing and the fortress city of Maastricht where the fossils were held was captured by French revolutionary armies. Geologist Barthélemy Frogias de saint fron together with political commissar Augustin Lucille de Francine who wanted to capture anything of artistic or scientific value and transport them back to France seized the Mosasaurus fossils and claimed them as war booty and sent them to be displayed at the Museum of Natural History in Paris. De saint france studied the remains and agreed that the earlier crocodile identification was correct. But in 1798, Adrien Gilles Camper, the son of Petrus Camper, a scientist who had been one of the first to study the remains, re-examined his father's notes. He disagreed that the skulls belonged to either a whale or a crocodile, and thought it belonged to a giant monitor lizard. Although not quite on the mark, he was still pretty close as monitor lizards are members of the diapsid group of reptiles, the earliest members of which are thought to be the ancestors of the marine reptiles that included the later mosasaurs. In 1808, comparative anatomist Georges Cuvier agreed with Camper's analysis, and it was named Mosasaurus in 1822 by William Daniel Conybear. But it wasn't until 1854, when it was proposed that the limbs of the Mosasaurus were actually flippers, not feet, that the idea of the Mosasaurus being an aquatic reptile took shape. Although Mosasaurus was the first Mosasaur to be discovered, it was one of the latest Mosasaur species to appear. It lived during the late Cretaceous period around 70 to 66 million years ago. As well as being one of the last, it was also one of the biggest and most heavily built. It could grow from around 15 to 18 metres long, that's around 56 feet, being such a large creature with, with a heavy build suggests the Mosasaurus had a preference for larger, slower prey, quite probably other marine reptiles. Further support for this specialisation and behaviour comes from the sidewards facing eyes that made Mosasaurus had poor stereoscopic vision. A lack of this ability strongly suggests that Mosasaurus did not rely heavily upon gauging distances between itself and prey and as such probably did not rely upon speed to chase down prey over distance. It's also unlikely that Mosasaurus was a scavenger. It had a poor sense of smell, and it would have been at a disadvantage to other marine scavengers. It's likely that Mosasaurus hunted near the surface of the ocean, waiting for prey like other marine reptiles to surface for air where they would be most vulnerable. Mosasaurus lived in the oceans that covered what is now Europe. These oceans were shallow, and so would not have been a deep diving animal. Preserved skin remains have been found on some mosasaur specimens, and show that they have scaly skin like a snake, with overlapping diamond-shaped scales. Melanin has also been discovered in some fossils, which have revealed that mosasaurs had two colours, a black back and a white belly. This coloration, similar to many aquatic predators like the great white shark, is perfect for surprise attacks. The dark back coloration making it difficult to see from above, while the white underbelly reduces the silhouetting when seen from below. Well, that's all I have for you this week and all I have for you for this series. I've now covered all the animals I'm going to that appear in the Ark Survival Evolved computer game. But don't worry, the educational content won't stop here. I'll be starting a new series where I cover interesting science stories that I've discovered. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in one of the other videos in this series. There are 90 of them to choose from, so you may well find something of interest. I hope you'll come back to the channel for more videos, some educational and some not. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video and a comment as well. Thanks for all the love and support I've received for this series in the past and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.